As this northern Florida farm comes to life, it's clear what's harvested here is no ordinary crop. Part science project, part commercial venture, the bright blue pools of sturgeon aqua farms are brimming with more than 27,000 Russian beluga sturgeon. Some experts believe there is more beluga on this panhandle farm than in all of the Caspian Sea. Thanks to 10 years of work by Ukrainian-born Mark Slavsky, his partner Mark Gelman, and their team of international scientists, this threatened species has a real chance of survival. Several months ago, we had a Russian scientist here, and they told us that we have more beluga sturgeon at our farm than there is in the Caspian Sea. So we're very happy about it, and it will be our pleasure to share some of our beluga sturgeon in the future with the country's littoral states, country bordering Caspian Sea. Overfishing, pollution, and environmental changes thrust the ancient species believed to predate dinosaurs onto the threatened species list in 2005. The U.S. responded by banning the sale of beluga caviar. Fortunately, two years before the sanctions, the partners managed to safely import 55 live beluga to Florida, making Sturgeon Aqua Farms the only U.S. company in possession of the threatened species. The partners also imported other prized sturgeon, Savruga, Lacetra, and Sterlet. Now with more than 110,000 fish, they run one of the largest sturgeon farms in the world. But it's the beluga and its coveted caviar that put Sturgeon Aqua Farms on the map. The historical success of uh, beluga caviar uh, has always been related to its availability in the market, as well as its prestige amongst uh, traditional societies. For those that are familiar with it before the ban, uh, it is a product which uh, had a very different shape, color, texture, uh, flavor in every aspect compared to any other sturgeon caviar. By 2014, Sturgeon Aqua Farms will be poised to process thousands of pounds of the most coveted caviar in the world. Beluga caviar currently sells in Europe in limited quantities for upwards of $7,000 a pound. The Sturgeon Aqua Farms project has been a mammoth undertaking, but the results have been impressive. Don't move it, don't move it, don't move it. The rate of beluga survival in the wild is less than 1%, and females don't begin to produce eggs until they're about 18 years old. In sharp contrast, at Sturgeon Aqua Farms, more than 50% of fertilized eggs survive, and after eight weeks, the survival rate of fingerlings increases to 85%. In addition, the ideal conditions of sustainable aquaculture and the warm Florida aquifer have allowed the sturgeon to reach sexual maturity nearly three times as fast as in the wild. Already, Sturgeon Aqua Farms has written agreements with two countries bordering the Caspian Sea to share research and send fertilized eggs to support repopulation in the wild. Russian beluga caviar from these females will be ready for harvesting as soon as 2014, following approvals from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. We are confident in, in the next two years that we will be the next evolution of the caviar industry uh, as we bring back many uh, species which have been unavailable, as well as uh, expand the knowledge of the American consumer. Some of the farm's Savruga caviar is already meticulously processed for sale in Miami through Markey's, an internationally known gourmet food wholesaler and retailer since 1983. Russian expats with authentic experience handling the delicate roe carefully process the eggs, weigh, package, and seal the fresh caviar. Sturgeon Aqua Farm's breeding program has been so successful they can barely keep up with the construction of new tanks for the next generations of Russian beluga. You have to put your heart to it to create a good wine. The same with the sturgeon. You have to care about fish. You have to make sure that fish lives in a clean water, has the best feed, the best temperature, the best environment, and then you will have the best caviar in the world. The best caviar in the world, and most important, survival of these ancient creatures.